Hey Deckers, today I'm having a look at Multiverses, which is now officially out after being in and out of playtests, alphas and betas, and is running better than it was in those tests now on the deck. Officially with the playable Steam Deck status and a very positive overall rating with between 100,000 and 50,000 daily active players, though that has dropped off quite a lot from the initial launch, we are seeing good performance on the Steam Deck, although I did have a couple of little tweaks, and although it's not quite sitting at that 90 frames per second solid at the highest quality if you did drop this down to medium you would get that but i don't really feel like you need to with the default settings with vsync off anti-aliasing at fxaa and just dropping down the material quality to medium and the shading quality leaving everything else pretty much as it is out of the box on the lcd you will get a 60 frames per second solid and i do recommend that even on the oled you cap this to 60 frames per second to give it a bit more of a stable experience and bring down that wattage but other than that it is is running just fine. As you'll see here, we do get a few dips in the performance, even in the single player sections during some of the special moves, but it does bounce between 60 and 90 most of the time. So if you keep it capped at 60, you're gonna get a pretty solid playthrough. Now, this is a free to play game and it is full of battle passes and microtransactions. So it is going to be up to you whether you slug your way through it or whether you buy to play some of those extra players. But otherwise, this is gonna be a very short review because that's pretty much it. It does run as we expect and this may be the start of a new two minute review series. So let us know in the comments below you'd like some two minute reviews of other games that work or don't work on the deck. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.